Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Z Crafting. My name is Eros and in today's episode we are going to start work on our Twilight Forest exhibit for all of our passive Twilight Forest animals. I'm so excited to do that and you guys have been voting um, for Asuna's little quest line which is going to be very very fun and so far it looks like the white tailed deer might win but there is still a chance that it might change. So the options are between white tailed deer, porcupine, and dun 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 woodpecker so please let me know uh, which animal you would like us to adapt first into our wildlife park but today what we're gonna do is we are gonna start work on the toilet floors exhibit so let's go i think i'm going to need my architect's table so we're gonna go and go get that right now and we're going to also eat some pineapple cake because i'm hungry and that's what we have to eat right now because cake and holidays and fun and times and, and stuff <laughs> Um, we're gonna go and grab our architect's table right now so we can use this as we build because it's very useful for when you're building exhibits because you can make those really cool window frames and you can also make those really really cool um, like arches that we use and I love using them it makes everything look so pretty I'm gonna put this bucket over here for now oh and I hear Ember or Phoenix I hear her oh my gosh so cute it's so cute and I also want let's see I'm thinking I'm thinking, I wonder if we can make some safari nets. I know we can buy some, but I only have so much money right now. So safari nets, what do I need? Let's see, I need a slime ball or animal glue. So I'm going to need a lot of leather to do that. So let's see, do I have any leather? I have four right here. And I'll have some right there. So I should have a decent amount. Do I have any in here too? And I could potentially have some in my animal traps. I don't think I've checked them in quite a while. Oh yeah, and here's some more of the Twilight Forge stuff that I have. So actually, I can put some stuff in there because my inventory is getting pretty full. So there we go. We have more room for activities. Um, all right, so let's see what else. There's some more love in here. Okay, so I think we'll have enough. I think we'll be okay. So let's go and make some safari nets so we can potentially move our animals today. I'm not sure how much we're going to get done. Oh, we're also going to need some string. And I think I've been picking a bunch of these. I have a bunch of Spanish moss. Where did it go? So let's go and do this and we can turn all this into string and there we go and then we need to turn some of this into animal glue and we should be able to make a bunch of safari nets. <laughs> there we go and it looks like we can make three at a time which is awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, it looks like they have difficult time stacking but that's okay. Oh gosh, no. No, what's happening? Um, all right, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be good enough for now, I think, right? I hope so. Hmm. <laughs> Let's just make another set. If we need more, we could always come back and get some more. And I think I'll just leave that stuff in there. Because we always need safari nets here at the wildlife park. Because there's so many animals and so many things to do. And hello, potato and tomato and mayo. How are you guys doing today? And pixie and pixel. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the raspberry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And how are the babies doing today? Oh, oh my goodness. They're so cute. One day, one day these mice are going to uh, leave their little nursery area and leave the house and maybe they'll be wandering around our zoo. And it'll be really cool to see what type of mouse gravitates towards what type of area, but we'll do that in the future. And look, we still have all of our festive cookies and our festive pies out. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat a cake. I'm gonna eat a whole cake because I'm that hungry. <laughs> um, let's see, I have glass in my backpack. I know we could uh, drop off our little birdies that we found in the toilet forest in the last episode. And we also have some nests that we can drop off too. And I think we're pretty good to go. I think we have a lot of things that we're going to need to decorate our area. So let's go to the uh, Paws and Claws <laughs> Rescue Center first to drop off some of these eggs. I don't think we're going to hatch them just right now because we do have a lot of birds in there. But we'll see. We'll see what we do. And here is the new and improved. Well, actually just new. <laughs> it hasn't been improved yet. But here is the new educational center that Asuna in, um, has been working on. And Dex has been helping her do this too. And she's still sitting a little bit differently. Um, It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. Uh, They might actually need some nests in here. So why don't I... Let's see. I could drop off some nests. Maybe I'll... Uh, yeah, I think I will actually just put the nest in here. Because I'm sure... They'll need the nests for something in here. 
And then let's go drop off these eggs just so we know where they are and we don't lose them because that would be that would be tragic. I'd be like, where are my people eggs? Where have they gone? And then I'm like, I don't I don't know where they are. They're gone forever now. They're gone forever. And hello Josh, how are you doing today? And Lily Kitty should be somewhere. Lily Kitty, you still haven't put the names of the animals on the signs. What is going on, Lily Kitty? And here's our ostrich Ozzy that we have. We have Lemon, our new little froggy that we have. She's so cute. Or he, I'm not too sure yet. So adorable, so cute. And then we have our goats over here. And then here are some of the Twilight Forest animals. We have our boars in here right now. And they're not boring, okay? They're fine. And then we have our deer and our bighorn sheep. And we also have some birdies and ravens that will be moving into that exhibit. Maybe today. So we'll see how that goes. Well, let's go and drop off some of these eggs that we have. Let's put them in with the woodpeckers for now. There we go. And I'm hungry again. I need more cake. It was needs more cake. We're just gonna, we're gonna finish this one. We did it. <laughs> it was yummy and delicious. Oh, there's Lily Kitty. Hi, Lily Kitty. How are you doing today? You doing good? Nope, don't escape. No escaping. No escape. Oh, she almost escaped. She escaped. She'll be back. Maybe she's gonna go rescue some animals or maybe she's going to go on a hunt maybe with Asuna to teach her some things about the park. Maybe. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. And I think I also need... I want to go in my um, my safe. I have a couple more of those uh, devincing sculptures that I made that might look pretty cool in the Twilight Forest exhibit. So let me go grab some of those. I forgot to get them, but it's okay. We are almost back, and let's go in here and go in the safe. And there we go. We have some of these sculpture pieces that might look really cool. And we do have a couple of these flowers and mushrooms, but I'll save those for now. Oh yeah, and we still have a bunch of dandelion buffs. Oh my gosh. We should make a wish. Let's make a wish. Let's make a wish. And I'm going to make a wish. And doop. I'm blowing. I'm blowing. I'm blowing. <laughs> and we made a wish. But I can't tell you guys what the wish was because it won't come true. It just won't come true if I tell you. So it's going to, we're going to have to keep that secret. But maybe later. Maybe later I'll tell you. <laughs> Alright, so we have these really cool sculpture pieces. And we have a lot of materials to use. We have a ton of safari nuts that we might need. But let's go to the Twilight Forest zone area. And start working on the passive Twilight Forest exhibit placey thingamajiggies. And hopefully the animals will be very, very happy in the Twilight Forest area. And then I'm so excited to, to be working on our like... I don't know what the proper name will be, but like the winter cave or the snow cavern or something. We'll have to think of a really cool name for this area, but we're going to put a lot of our um, like winter and arctic and snowy type of animals in this area. And the future will probably go like up and down and all around this cave. I'm really excited to do that too. <laughs> I love building in caves. Um, but if we come up here and continue on with this pathway it'll take us to the twilight forest area and then this big area right here is what i want to use as the passive area for our passive twilight mobs and daisy is still here daisy oh poor daisy i forgot you were here sweetie oh come over here daisy and we're gonna eat some cake too so many cakes so little time do 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 more cake eros needs more cake uh all right so we're gonna make um let's see an infinite water source so we can have some water just in case you want to use it in the exhibit I don't really know exactly how the exhibits going to turn out but we're gonna do our best and <laughs> we're gonna try uh, all right so let's go and put some water in here there we go and we're also gonna need some grass I wonder did I pick up some grass blocks I don't know uh, let's see I have dirt I'm gonna need grass blocks. I might have to go back to my house really quick and get some grass blocks. Uh, I have a little bit. All right, we are good to go for now. And let's go and put a bunch of these fire nuts um, in here for now, just so we can make, oh gosh, no. <laughs> just so we can make some more room in our inventory. And we still have some other animals too from the Twilight Forest, but we're not gonna put them in the passive exhibit because they're they're hostile. <laughs> they're hostile mobs and they don't, they don't go in here. And then we also have some animal glue left over and we have a raspberry. All right, sounds good. Sounds about right. Let's go take some fireflies out or need fireflies and may apples. Do I have any more? Where are all my may apples at? I know I got a bunch. We have some moss too, some roots. We're gonna need some carpenter's blocks. Um, there's more flower or more like leaves in here. And then, oh yeah, we have that very like interesting werewolf and the zombie wolf too that we're gonna have to talk with Merlin the wizard about. 
And we also, oh yeah, we also have a villager zombie that we need to cure. Oh my gosh, so many things to do. So many things to do. Oh yeah, I have this for, okay, there's so much stuff. So first thing I want to do is kind of make a different, difference in terrain by using these carpenter blocks to kind of like elevate some of the areas in the exhibit. And I thought I had more. Did I not have more? I thought I brought a bunch of carpenter's blocks, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. Guys, what's going on? Where are they? I don't know. All right, well, I guess we can always make some more. And there's a mole in here. Hi, mole. How are you doing today? Um, okay. So we want to kind of use these carpenter's blocks to elevate the land. And we want it to kind of be taller in the back. And hi, Daisy. How are you doing today, Daisy? Daisy Roo. Daisy Roo's the best puppy Roo. No. Best puppy Roo. No. And actually, you know what? I don't need all this to be carpenter's blocks, do I? All right. Change of plans. The plans have changed. I just need grass blocks. But I do all need the carpenter blocks to make these really cool slopes in here. Okay. So I've changed my mind with some things. And oh yeah, we can put some of these fireflies in here too. I think they actually give off light. So. Yes. Fireflies to the rescue. So much light in here now. Do do do. There we go. Oh my gosh, yes. And I love these fireflies. Or are they called? Yeah, fireflies. Fireflies are so awesome. I wonder if we should use them for landing around some of the other exhibits that we have too. There we go. Oh my gosh, yes. Beautiful. You're beautiful. Yes, now it's nice and bright. Mole. <laughs> Mole. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mole? All right. So it's kind of like, yeah, actually, yeah, let's move this around. And we'll put this little firefly right there. And now we can start placing some of the grass blocks that we have. There we go. And we just want to make some differences in terrain because we don't want it to all be just like a big flat area. So we're going to have some, have it be a little bit higher in the back. There we go. And then maybe we'll make some uh, little houses or some type of little caves for them to go and sleep in and stay away. Even though they're kind of like halfway in a cave. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> like little like nesting and bedding areas. And we're definitely not going to have enough grass. So I'm going to have to go back home and get some more. But you guys can kind of see the idea of what I'm going for is just making a little bit difference in terrain levels. But let me go get some more grass and I'm going to do some more work on this. And then we'll be back to do some more decorating here in the Twilight Force exhibit. And Daisy, you stay here, you man the fort, all right? I'll be right back. So what do you think, Daisy? Did we do a good job? I think so, but we are gonna add a little bit of variation into the terrain too. Now that we made it a little bit taller in some parts and have this really cool slope going up, we are going to mix in some dirt, some roots, and maybe even some of these lover roots too. Mm -hmm, I think that's what we'll do, and we're also going to use the chisel on the dirt to make it extra special. So let's go and do that now. And I want to mix in, I think, let's see, what would be good dirt? What is the best type of dirt to add to? <laughs> uh, maybe this crumbling dirt. Hmm. <laughs> or maybe even these dirt bricks. Or maybe the cobble dirt. I don't know. There's so many choices. <laughs> there's so much dirt. There's so little time. All right. So let's go and put some stuff away. My inventory is full of things and stuff. Oh yeah, I still have this architect's table too that I'm going to need to sit down. So let's go place this out here by the cake. And I'll put that there. And let's go do some terrain making magic. Oh yeah, and I also have a place over here because I'm going to put in a waterfall, I think. Or maybe just a pond. We'll have to see how it goes. But let's go and do a little bit of variation with the surrounding terrain around here. Oh, that's, that's like way too square. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see. Let's put in a little bit of this dirt like this, and let's add in a little bit of roots. And let's see, maybe one there. And maybe some more dirt, and then maybe we'll add in a little bit more grass. There we go. Some differentiations, variations of terrainations. I don't think I worded, but sometimes I do. <laughs> All right, let's go put a little bit more over here. Just little pieces of dirt and things. And let's do a piece of like liver root right there. Very special, very, very special dirt. And let's do this, there we go. And how's this looking? Looking pretty good, I think. And let's do a little bit like coming up. So we're going to have to remove some of these slopes like so. And then we can also go in and remove some of this and use some different 
different shapes and things. Let's take these slopes back and place them down. And we're going to have to be sneaky how we place them. Make sure we place them in the right way. And there we go. And let's go, let's make one of these like roots. Ooh, that's going to look really cool. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> and let's see this dirt over here. And there we go. It's going to be beautiful. We're making a beautiful masterpiece. Our animals are going to love this place. The place is going to be the best place ever. Uh, let's go over here and add in a little bit more like different spots over this way. We'll go like that. Maybe one here. Let's do a couple of these liver roots and we're going to mix it up and do some roots. And we're also going to do some dirt over here. We're going to be really like fancy for this part. <laughs> there we go. So hopefully I'll just add a little bit more to like differentiation to the exhibit so we're not just looking at grass everywhere and I think that looks pretty nice. Maybe we'll do a little spot over this way too. Oh yeah and I did add like a door, uh, a door right here and a double door so we can go in and out um, safely. Let's just do like a little piece like right there and just put like a piece of root and let's put some dirt. And there we go. We did it. Um, some other things that I'm going to do is I do want to add in a bunch of these May apples and some grass. And we do want to put in some ferns too. Oh yeah, we do want to put in these like very special like glow caps. And because they are amazing and they're from the Twilight Forest. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Alright, so let's go and place some of these. So we're going to, maybe we'll put them kind of like scattered about this way. And then just kind of move them around kind of randomly. We don't want to have a set pattern for these. I kind of just want to make it look beautiful and look as natural as possible. So we're just going to put one in there. <laughs> a little secret uh, maple apple and a little like hole. There we go. And let's add in some ferns. We are, let's see, if I have a bone meal, we can add in some double ferns. If not, I can do it at a later time. But let's see, do we have any bones or bone meal? I do, I do, I do. Ooh. All right, so let's go and turn some of this into bone meal. So we can make those two high super special ferns. There we go. And let's move this. And there we go. We can make some specials. <laughs> some special ferns. There we go. There is one there. We can do, I really like doing like the special ferns kind of like in the back. So we'll do like a special one right there. And maybe even like a special one right there too. And then we can do some smaller ones too. Because there are like, it seems to be like there's a lot of like ferns for whatever reason, in the toilet course. So we're going to continue on with the tradition and add some more of these very special ferns. <laughs> and maybe we'll do like a tall one like right there too. There we go, it's special. And then maybe we'll do a few around the water area, just cause there's always a lot of like vegetation normally around water because lots of nutrients and, and things and nature and it just works out. Guys, it just works. And then we also have a couple pieces of grass too that we can place around kind of like over here and then maybe we'll do like a little bit more over in this area and then we could always add in some more grass and flowers in the future and let's see I think this is looking pretty good so far we got a lot of different like items going on let's eat some of this cake that's laying on the ground then we can pop down another one and eat some more cake it's so yummy it's so yummy and let's see. Oh yeah, we do want to add in some of these very, very special like glow caps. And I love these. These are so cool. I would, I want some. I want some in real life, guys. Can you find me some glow caps, please? Please. I will buy them. Um, but look at this. Oh yes, I love this. I love it. It's so magical. It's so Twilight Foresty. Uh, all right. Oh my gosh. Um, is there supposed to be like double? Interesting. I think I have to share these. There we go interesting i don't know how to do these ones <laughs> how do we make it work are we supposed to put like these on top uh not exactly maybe these ones uh maybe i don't think so but maybe oh uh, maybe okay we'll leave it like that for now we'll see <laughs> maybe i don't know sometimes you just gotta roll with it and let's add some more over here very magical grass and foliage for the magical land of the Twilight Forest. Let's add little mushrooms over here. Add some over there. You get a mushroom, and you get a mushroom, and Daisy! We're gonna put mushroom by you! And maybe some more grass, too. There we go. Oh my gosh, yes! I love it! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think I need... Let's see, let's put, like, a mushroom 
right there and then maybe one of those special grasses right there and that mole is still here i guess the mole is going to live in this exhibit as well which is fine the mole can totally stay here oh yeah and i did add, add in some of those torch roots and some of those roots um on the ceiling too i thought it looked really cool but there we go and then we're going to need um some of those fallen logs because there's like a ton of fallen logs in the twilight forest with these very special like moss patches on them so we're definitely going to continue on with the tradition of the twilight forest and add some of our very very own so let us kind of let's see we might have to move some foliage around because <laughs> there we go and we're going to kind of make one of those special like three ones so we will let's see let's place some of the wood like this um is this gonna break everything no awesome awesome because <laughs> sometimes when you use an axe it's not too good Sometimes it ruins everything. It ruins dreams. Sometimes dreams are ruined. All right, there we go. So we're making a special log and then we will continue on kind of like this. And let's erase this one. And then maybe we will put one kind of like that. There we go. And then we'll add like the moss kind of like on the sides and on top of it. And it's gonna look so pretty. We're gonna have some pretty moss. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna have to go get some more of this moss because I just like I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Yes, I love it. All right, so it looks really nice. Oh yeah, I do have these sculpture pieces that I want to put in too. And I do want to add in like some trees or something, but we'll have to see how it works. So let's add in some of these pieces. And these also act as lights as well, so it'll be nice to have around. Let's add in some of these and we'll put one kind of like right there. And we're out for now. And let's see. So cool. <laughs> I do, I think I have some saplings. I know I have the canopy tree saplings. I don't necessarily know if I want to add those in. Uh, mangrove, I think we're going to need, let's see, probably need water for those, I'm thinking. Are there normal oak trees in the toilet forest? Let's see, maybe we'll just pop in the Twilight Forest really quickly to kind of like see if there's any oak trees in there or are they all canopy trees or I think there's like bushes too like with the leaves and the logs. Let's go and take a peek. We're just going to take a look and go to the Twilight Forest really quickly. We are in the Twilight Forest and it does look like there is variations of the like special canopy trees and it looks like there are also, I think these are oak trees or are these dark oak? Let me like, like take one down and see if I get any saplings from these. Because I want to try. Looks like it's just normal oak saplings. Alright, so we can do that. We have the technology. We can totally make some of these very special. Well, they're not special. Which is normal oak trees in the Twilight Forest exhibit. But it will be special, okay? Everything is special. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab a couple of those. And there are some flowers, too. Um, so I should probably grab up some of these. And we can place some flowers kind of around. There we go. And there's lots of ferns. See what I'm saying? There's like so many ferns around here. So many ferns. Oh dear, there's a deer. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mole, it is time to place some trees. Look at you. You're so cute. You're so cute. Are you the same mole that was in here? I hope you didn't leave. He might have left. Or mole might have left us. No. Molly, why? You better stay around this area. I don't want you to leave. I want you to be my friend. All right, so we're going to see if we can actually grow one of these with bone meal or if the area is too short, we'll have to make our own special like oak trees but hopefully it'll work there we go yes it worked we did it <laughs> we are victorious i wonder if i should try i don't think a mega tree would probably work in this area mm, i don't think so a birch sapling as well let's see is there enough room for you i don't think so i think the oak trees have a bigger like like forgiveness for where you can place them uh let's see can we put the birch one right here Yes! Okay, awesome! You're able to grow. I'm so proud of you. And let's move this around. There we go. And we could try to do like a bigger oak tree and see how that goes. Okay, so we got a ton of bone meal and then we can take some of this special, like just andesite. Not really special, but remember everything is special if you want it to be. Um, and let's go and place some of this. One, two, three, four. And let's see if we can make like a big oak tree. 
Um, we might have to remove some of this stuff around. So let's move those. And... Don't know if it's going to grow. Don't know if we'll have enough room. Probably won't. Yeah, I don't think we will. So let's just do a normal one for now. And we're going to need some more bone meal. <laughs> so let's grab some of this. And let's remove this thing that we placed. And let's place another oak tree right here. Oh no, are you not going to grow? Is it because of this? Maybe? No! What do you mean? What do you mean? I believe in you. You can do this. You can do this, oak sapling. Maybe, maybe like right here. Let's see. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know if it'll, it'll fall go. We might have to just make some custom trees. Uh, let's place this back over there. And let's take a look and see. There we go. It definitely has a lot more like things going on in here. I do want to get some more of that moss too. We'll have to do like a a mossy expedition in the future and let's see can we place an oak tree maybe like right here let's see if this will work no okay we're gonna have to just make our own we can do this we have the technology um we might have the technology i'm scared we could try to make one of our own like special big ones too i mean if we're gonna be making our own trees we might as well try to make our own like fancy like big tree all right, so let's go up to here, and we can kind of, let's see, let's get some oak leaves and start placing to make our own custom tree, and hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll have some, like, um, branches going off like this, and go like that. Have some, oh gosh, it's not going to work. Let's go up a little bit so we have some room. There we go. And we are making the tree beautiful. We're going to make a beautiful tree. You're going to be a fabulous tree. I, you know, it's special. It's like a Charlie Brown tree, but it's going to look fine, maybe. It'll be okay. We'll work through this. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. All right, there we go. Let's add that, something like that. We can kind of have like a hanging, I look like, like hanging leaves. Like modify it into kind of like a willow tree hybrid. There we go. And I do want to break this, but I'm just gonna use my fist in case the axes will take this down right now. Because sometimes when you use an axe on wood, it takes down all the things. And I don't want to take all the, down all the things. Alright, there we go. And I might go back in later and do like some variations to this tree, but it's interesting, right? It's, it's you know, it's it's a work of art. And let's go up a little bit. There we go. Can I do something like that? And I'll see how I feel about it in the future, and maybe I'll change it up. But for now, at least we know we'll have another tree over in that area, and I think it looks pretty cool. I do want to add in some of the water, so let's go get some of the water from our infinite source that we made so we can make ourselves like a pretty waterfall beautiful waterfall area where did i over here okay i'm like i know i made an infinite source of water but where did i put it and there we go and i do want to eat some cake num 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 and let's go try to make a waterfall a special waterfall area and i do i want to put it like right there i think I was measuring out before and let's go and place one bucket there and then one here and it should flow down nicely and let's go back down here and we're going to need a little bit more water to kind of fill in this area and let's move this and it's gonna look beautiful it's gonna look beautiful it's gonna be a beautiful little waterfall watery type of area and the animals are gonna love it and let's see there we go and let's put this water there and this water there and let's go get some more water so we can make a beautiful pond and maybe I'll go in later and add in some lily pads or something to this water we'll have to see make it look beautiful oh yeah I think the giant lily pads are actually from the Twilight Forest so maybe we'll add uh, some of those I might have some in the chest at my house still if not I can go on an adventure again to get some more of those but let's go and try to make this an infinite source of water and we are so close. We are so close. We almost have it. We did it. 
Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go out here. Oh yeah, that looks really pretty. I like that. That's gonna look gorgeous. It's gonna be beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I wanna live here now. And I do wanna add in a little bit of the glass. Um, I'm going to use the architect's table, I think. Maybe I'll try the canopy wood and let's make some window frames. Like so, I'll probably need a decent amount. So let's make this many about now. And I'm just going to need to use like normal glass for like the edges that are gonna be a little bit weird, I think. Like right here, um, I'll just add some normal glass. So one, two, three, four. I'm not too sure how tall I wanna go, but we'll do this over here too. And do about four. And then over here, it's kinda like where I wanna use these special frames and they look really, really pretty. So we're gonna use those like so and add these in <laughs> i never used it with like the canopy wood before and it looks really cool it's like special dalmatian like windows special dalmatian window frames let's go and add this here and like this and we're going to have to remember to put some like glass or something behind the waterfall because it is open to the outside um and i want to let's see let me get my axe ready so i can break this because I need to remove it and place it in the correct way. Come on, window, make me look bad. There we go. <laughs> and maybe we can do like some special arches too with the canopy one. So let's go in here and place in some more of this. And let's go into arches. And let's do some of this. And make a couple of those. I'm not sure how many I'll need if I use them. But let's see, I'm gonna have to move you, little guy. If we kinda like, um, I'm gonna have to go up a little bit so I can like place it in the right way. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky how these place. But we're going to remove you. Um, with a pick. <laughs> What's the best way to remove? There we go. And let's go in kinda like that, there we go. And let's kind of go over this way so we can place another one over on this side. And I might have to place like a layer of wood like right here just so it makes sense. Uh, let's remove this and let's go get in some canopy and kind of just go like this and like that and connect it up. And I do want to get, where's that firefly? <laughs> Did I pick it up? No, firefly, firefly, come here firefly. Guys, I want the firefly. Why can't I have you? All right, let's go get some dirt so we can go up and do a firefly rescue mission. Um, there we go. We got it. We did it. We are victorious. All right, let's go and break down a bunch of this grass and dirt that we placed. And yeah, I think that's gonna look really nice, like right there. And there's, I like using the special like archways. They make things look pretty. And we will go like this. And then we still need to add in some glass over on this side too. And one, two, three, four. And then over here. Uh, we're gonna have to break these vines, unfortunately. There we go. One, two, three, four. And we might do like something on the top of those pieces of glass. But yeah, I'm really liking this so far. So in order to make this like nice and secure, so animals can't walk in and out of that. We're going to have to go and get some glass panes. So I'm going to use some of the more of the light gray glass. And we're going to like place it in this. Just so they can't get out. And we're going to have to place it in, in like all the pieces. But just so you guys can see what I'm going to do. We're going to do it like that. And then we also need to come over here. And I think I can just use the window frames for this. So let me go and make some more windows. So we can use them kind of like over in this area. Actually, I can just leave that in there, can I? And yes, we're going to like go like this. And block up this area as well. If only, if only, if only. Come on. Will you make me look bad? Come on, window frame. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of here. No, go home. Go home, window frame. Go home. Doesn't like me. <laughs> The window frame doesn't like me. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I broke everything. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There you go. Good window frame, good window frame. Um, let's go and place uh, some blocks back. And, okay, I'll do this off camera, but you guys get the idea. I want to have some windows to come like that. 
like that way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that over there. <laughs> just ruined everything. Um, and then I'm going to also put some of the window frames or maybe just the windows over on this side. Kind of like, like right here. And like block this area off. I'll just use this. So I'm probably going to forget. So I'm just going to place it there. And I'm going to need more glass. And now I'm stuck here. Hi, Mole. Hi. <laughs> So I do have some more things I have to do for this exhibit, but I'm pretty excited with the process or like the progress that we made so far. And I think that our Twilight Force animals are really going to like this area and they're going to enjoy it. But yeah, so let me know if you guys have any suggestions or ideas of things that I can add to this exhibit. And then in the next episode, we'll probably be able to move over some of the Twilight Forest animals that we already have in the Paws and Claws Rescue Center. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Zoo Crafting, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!